indefatigable Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for that nightlight. is out of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, inasmuch as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Every year, I pick a word of the year, uh, for the past few years anyway, and I use that word to focus my attention on some area of lack or need in my life. So one year, it was the word ubiquitous, and I was trying to be where I was needed so that if somebody was looking for me, they could find me, and I would be able to help people. Another year, it was alacrity, so that if somebody was asking me to do something, I would do it with alacrity. Um, this year, starting in January, is indefatigable, uh, not tiring out because there's been a heavy workload and a heavy life load, and sometimes it's easy to get tired and maybe even feel like giving up, uh, but that's not an option for the believer. And so we have 1 Corinthians 15, 58, reminding us to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. John Wesley said this, he said, do all the good you can, by all the means you can, and all the ways you can, and all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as ever you can. That's an indefatigable follower of Jesus. And he lived that out. He wrote some 200 books. He rode on horseback, preaching the gospel over 250,000 miles, enough to serve, circumnavigate the globe multiple times. Uh, certainly, I can do a little better than I am right now. So let's learn to be indefatigable. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this day. I pray that you'd bless these under the sound of my voice. Help them, God, to have the strength to carry on. Allow your spirit within them to infuse strength. Give them strength for the day. Give them strong shoes for stony paths. Allow them, God, to know that you, you are with them moment by moment. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great night.